there are typically three things that can happen to an email after it's been filed. Now, the email will always go to the email folder somewhere central, but in terms of what happens in your inbox, there are three options. You can set a blanket rule in the user preferences and Outlook, um, or you can control it on an individual basis in the prompt that comes up when you go to file the email. On the right-hand side over here, you can see there's a drop-down called After Filing. Now, the first option is to just change the subject line, so it will say, the date and time of when the email was filed. So if I was to go down through my inbox, I would see some emails that have been filed and some emails that haven't. However, a lot of people prefer to move the email out of their inbox, which means that their inbox is more like a to-do list where you've just got emails left to action inside it. So emails can either go straight to your deleted items, which means that as soon as you file them, they're gone, they're out of mind, which is a really efficient way of working. Or there's a middle ground, which is a subfolder called filed items, which is kind of in between your deleted items and your inbox. To show what that looks like, if I click on File Items and press File, you'll see this email has just disappeared, and it's gone over here to this subfolder called File Items.